hey guys so as you could tell i harvested our corn we didn't get as much as i was hoping and when i went to actually shuck the corn and all a lot of it wasn't pollinated good so we had like some small ears but we were still able to use them and i was going to actually show you how much we got before i ended up shucking it and creaming it to put in the canner which i did not so you can just kind of see here like we had probably a dozen ears or so maybe um and again they was all really small <clears throat> they was all really small but that's okay it they it did turn out really creamy whenever i ended up shucking it so i'm really excited about that so i have it here this is our pressure canner or our canning setup which is more what i wanted to show y'all so I'm gonna turn this around. So you can see we just have a basic propane two burner stove. And you can see that that's Camp Chef. Obviously we're not sponsored or anything like that. And then my canner is just a Denali canner. It's kind of hard to see. But anyways, this is the camping setup. It works out really well. I ended up canning, getting some corn from the farmer's market and I canned nine pints of cream style corn. And since I had so much corn, I used my second eye with my big water bath canner pot full of corn to get it heated up and everything. So that way I was doing the hot pack method. And I just had a little table set out here once I was done with all of that. And I used the oven to help sanitize my jars, but it helps keep it all outside. And it doesn't heat up the house. It doesn't take an eye off my glass top stove if I'm wanting to do something because the pressure canner for corn at least needs to go for 75 minutes. At 10 pounds of pressure so that's that's a long time to have it on here and it held the temperature really good just on low heat it held it right at 10 to 11 pounds of pressure probably and it was really steady the only time i had issue was it was it was really windy the day i did it out here and it did blow out my flame so it did drop to like nine pounds so then i had to stop my timer restart it get it back up to pressure but it cools down from pressure really quick and it doesn't take it very long to get up to pressure. So I had my jar out here. I've got another canner load. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust the, get it e even on my eye, sorry. Um, I have another canner load of some more corn going because so far 36 ears of corn gave us nine pints to do cream style. It gave us nine pints plus probably another seven probably so it probably gave us about 16 pints of corn um and then i did just add the little bit that came off of our kernels here or off of our carbs cobs rather um here and it, and i really like this setup because in the amount of time that it took me to get the extra corn that i didn't can the first time heated back up to good temperature and get the new set um, all, um, all jarred up and everything. And when I came out here to put it in the pressure canner and I put the lid on, it, it automatically started venting pretty much. So it was already, the pot was already really nice and simmered and the water was already really hot. So once I put that um, lid on, it didn't take it no time to start venting because now I'm at the point where I'm waiting for 10 minutes for it to do the steady stream before I can put my weight on and then build up pressure so it's doing i really like this setup well for both the water bath canning and the pressure canning this will be the second time that i've pressure canned on this little setup and i've done what was it some pineapple i did that was water bath can and it's worked out really well so i will leave a link in the description box to where to both my canner my pressure canner and also the camp shelf explorer stoves Cause you can get just a single burner or the two burner but so far i'm really liking this setup and yeah i'm pretty excited about it y'all all right so my little pressure canner's been venting for 10 minutes so we're just gonna pop on the 10 pound weight and let it build up pressure and then do its thing for 75 minutes
Okay, so within about five minutes or so, we're a little over 10 pounds of pressure, right at 10 to 11 pounds of pressure. One thing I will say with this setup is you want your low, your heat all the way on low, and it keeps it pretty steady. I don't really have to adjust my heat much. I just more or less have to make sure that my flame doesn't blow out. And yeah, so now we just set our timer and wait. I don't know how well you can see on the video, but you can kind of see how low I have the flame going and it's keeping very very steady pressure all right guys so the corn i meant to show you a video of the corn after it got cold done but all five jars did pressure can the way they supposed to and my flame didn't go out at all this time so it was a very easy process you can see like up there on top of the cabinet upstairs where all my corns at the new part and then that some honey oak sourdough break going there. But um, what I wanted to say was that a pressure canner did come up to pressure with only five pints in it. I know some people, if they tried to do like a smaller canner load, it wouldn't necessarily come up to pressure. The first time I was able to get nine pints in there, this time I got five. So maybe if you do like at least half, your canner's half full maybe. And I just tried to spread them evenly spaced apart. And they were wide mouth jars too. So that way it kind of helped the space a little more they weren't so snugly fit but it came up to pressure very easy held and maintained pressure all my jars sealed so we're good it was another success um but that's pretty much it for this video so if y'all have any questions or comments be sure to comment in the sec um, comment section down below and i would love to hear your canning setup <clears throat> and i will check in with y'all later